Hello folks. So in my previous post a lot of people asked me why did I put the extruder motor at this position and how did I do it? So firstly why? Um, simply because I had like many other people some stringing issues and I thought well why the fuck is the Bowden so long? And you remember maybe not in this video but on your extruder it goes when, when the extruder motor head is positioned here it takes all the way down and this is so fucking long I thought okay maybe we can do it something better and I saw a post in a German um, N6 group a guy posted there an STL fire of a holder and specially mounted holder that you can put the extruder motor at the same position and I show you what I came up with and as you can see here, this position is absolutely perfect. You have enough space to your main rod, to your main line. And when I move it back, give me a second, and I go under the bed, you can see that I have clearly enough space for the motor. Now let me focus. And nothing touches the engine. It's perfectly fitted in there. And if the original cable is long enough to get the motor running, and this is incredible. So I want to show you with, uh, I want to show you this. And yeah, what I did, this was my second try. I, oh come on, focus, shitty, shitty mobile phone. I printed out this little spacer, and I fixed all the things with two screws. One M5 screw on this side, one on the other. Um, because the screws were a little bit too long, they have 25 millimeters in full length, um, I put it on a nut on top of it and screwed it in with um, the uh, slot nuts I used. And now maybe some people ask me, okay, what kind of nuts are you using? Because normally you have to disassemble the whole profile and put them in from the side. So this is the case by these guys. Yeah. A lot of people know that, but I used this ones because they can put it on top of the line and turning. So I can I prepare this little thing here. <coughs> this was my first attempt with the motor fixing. Um, you simply put them in, turn them. Okay, this was not good. Give me a second try. Put them in, turn them, and they should fix. Should fix as you see themselves fixed and now I put well you have to imagine I put it on the side on the rail like the spacer what I have now I put it the engine or the motor on top and screwed everything again with another bolt that's it and you can see it fits perfectly in this gap. So the second problem I would say was that now my filament has to be guided a little bit more because I, I, I don't want it to set the sensor on another position. I like that and I like the position of the filament. So as you can see I made this little thing here out of a piece of metal and zip ties thingy here and yeah it works pretty good because the filament has enough space and especially what is cool about that that when you have rejects, and I have at the moment six millimeter, I think, yeah, the filament pushes back and only takes the tension of the filament away, but it always stays at the bottom of this thing here and doesn't squirrel or screech or anything, and it doesn't even move back through the filament sensor. So I have sometimes a few strange noises when the filament is retracted back through the sensor and these are gone. So two problems in one solved. I like this position pretty well. Um, I will do in the future a little more improvements, especially to this thing here. Um, make a good guide, not only this uh, thingy here. And yeah, but I think a lot of stringy issues are caused by this holy fucking cow long Bowden. 
and maybe this will solve some problems. Um, I solved some issues at this point here with the cable management. I will solve that later on. But as you can see, um, the Bowden is completely freely. It's not zip tied to the cables or anything. It's only guided on the top here that the filament goes straight in and you have a, a low resistance from the filament inside the Bowden. This, that's everything. So maybe you can do your own version of it. Better version, I hope. <laughs> It's like you copy a little bit, but I think this will help a lot of people because the results you saw it was my cube. The fuck, there's my cube. This was my result, and as you can see, absolutely no string. This is hilarious. So have fun with it, and if you have any questions, ask me. I will answer you. Bye bye.